So today we're going to be looking at how to tell the time. So the first thing that we need to do is that we need to know how to count. So the numbers that we need are going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So now that we have our twelve numbers, we're going to start off with the biggest thing, which is going to be the hour. We have hours, minutes, and seconds on a clock. <clears throat> The way that we can see what hour it is, we're going to have a thick hand come out of the clock to point at the hour. So if we want to show that it's three o'clock, we're going to point our first arrow at the number three. So that's our first hand. Now, when we just want to say that it's three o'clock, and we don't want to say that it's five past three or ten past three. What we need to do is get our minute hand and point that at twelve. So that's going to say that it's three o'clock. But what if we need to see how many seconds past three it is? Well, we get our biggest arrow yet. And that's going to point at, say, we want to say five seconds past three. We're going to point that arrow straight here at the number one. Now, you might be wondering, why are we pointing it at the number one instead of at number five? Well, the reason for that is... If we see all of these small dots here, each one of these is one minute. And you'll notice going around the whole clock, you're going to have 60. So that means that for every big number that you see like this, it's going to mean five minutes. So when we want to say that there are five seconds past the hour, we get our longest arrow, which is this yellow one here, and we point it straight over. Let's see what color we're going to do. We're going to do a dark green. We're going to point it straight at the one. Now, we can count from there where we go. One, two, three, four, five. So that means it's going to be five seconds past the hour. Now, let's clean up this screen just a little bit. Whoop. So we don't want to get confused with all of the markings that we've left around the place. We'll just leave the circles around the numbers so that we see it all a bit easier. So if we want to look now and say that it is 10 past 3, we're going to first, like we did the last time, draw our small hand at the hour, which is 3. And then we're going to count out 10 minutes. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that means we're going to have to point our minute hand at that number there, number two, because that's ten minutes that we've counted. So let's point our big hand there. Now, that shows us that it's ten past three. And again, if we want to do the seconds, let's say if it's 10 minutes past three and 20 seconds, 
let's count out the seconds all the way to 20. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now let's draw out our second hand. Whoop. Don't forget our second hand is going to be the skinniest one and the longest one. So there, we have 10 minutes past three. So we see our 10 minutes here on our minute hand. We have three o'clock on our hour hand and we have 20 seconds on our second hand.